comes front side for the Tar Heels. It's Barry with the basketball. Now to Theo. He kicks it in the corner left. Kenny Williams open for three and knocks it in and has something to say. Picks up exactly where he left off in Chapel Hill, as we talked about with his good shooting and offensive performance. Cameron Johnson will try and answer from the corner, and he does so. Trent tries to drive baseline. Stop, step back is no good. Rebound falls to Barry. Push ahead to Johnson. He's going to get the run out flush to tie the game. Great outlet by Barry to tie or to essentially tie it up. Cameron Johnson completed the transaction. Barry has it to the chance of air ball. Tariel's down one, 13 12. Pinson at the right elbow. Faces up, bounces to Brooks. Oh my goodness, Garrison with the man size flush right on top of Wendell Carter. Well, that was reminiscent of the, of the Syracuse game. For the Tar Heels with the basketball. Cameron Johnson, good look at three, too strong. Kenny Williams, though, up in the air for the board. Tips it to Barry. Another try for Johnson. This one's good for the triple. Well, I'll tell you, both those were really deep without an additional Carter or Bagley on that back, and Bagley extended out, and as we saw, even blocked the shot. Boy, big three from Kenny Williams, no good, but Pinson flies in and pokes it home for the offensive board. 28-23, Tar Heels by five. Barry, Williams, Johnson, Pinson, Brooks. Left corner, Cameron Johnson dribbles up the sideline, bounces to the elbow to Pinson. His floater over Bolden is good. O'Connell closes in on him, under 10. Carolina up seven here before halftime. Now to Cameron Johnson, right back to Barry. Corner, Kenny Williams, three ball. Yes, sir! At the horn, Tar Heels up 10 at the break. And then was able to get the good hands on it to keep it going. And Delaria did what a lot of people would do. It's a reaction strike. And that's what caused the foul. Play long distance. Three, Cameron Johnson. That may have been from Pittsburgh. Carolina by nine. 14.45 to go. Right of the lane to May. Pinson. Extra pass to Johnson. Bounces at corner. Kenny Williams. Pump fake for three. Takes a step in and knocks in the long two. Boy, Gary Trent Jr. almost caught up with him as well on that little pump fake and step in. Yeah, Carolina was up 11 and then now to six. Brooks left of the lane. Hits the little 12-footer. Big shot by the freshman. Cameron Johnson against the Duke zone. Sends it to Barry deep left wing. Now to Johnson on the right. Could use this three and they get it from Cameron Johnson. Sends it to Allen, tries to get it in the post to Bagley, double teams there, caught on the baseline, out to Allen. Drives, kicks it in the corner to Trent, his three is good. Duke has hit five threes this half. 57-55, Blue Devils. Johnson to Kenny Williams, need this three two, they get that one two from the left corner. Tar Heels down two. 60 to 58. Pinson drives out to Barry. Has not made a three tonight and still wasn't. It was blocked. Pinson, though, with the rebound, gets the bucket and the foul. I'll tell you, not very often you see Joe Barry's three pointer shot blocked. Eight of their last 11 from behind the arc. The Duke offense has exploded here in the second half. And the Tar Heels desperately need points. They get it from Pinson for a jumper left of the lane for two. And Roy Williams going to take a timeout. Tar Heels trying to double up Bolden on the pass. Out to Duvall. Lost it for a moment. Boy, Duvall thought he had double dribbled. Instead, he gets it to Bagley for the alley-oop finish over May. Just tenths of a second difference shot clock and game clock. I don't even think it will be a shot clock violation. It's going to go ahead and go to zeros. And that'll end it.